Okay, this has been my third or fourth time recording this now. I've already recorded the audio for this, but this is just me going over the bass. So, before the audio section, so, yay. And this is my bass that I've been working on for about three or four months now. Um, it's been a while. I've had it done for a while, and it's just a bit of fine-tuned doing the setup and all. And I've gone into a zone that I kind of like it, but it's not fully done. I still need to do a few things to the action and to get rid of the buzz to the extent I want to get rid of and the nut itself needs to be redone because it's a cheap plastic one but everything else is fine as it is maybe the bridge just get a slightly higher mass one just for better sustain but other than that it's done so this is my base it is an SX custom handmade traditional base of the traditional series and some things I've done to it like the pit guard um, I'll get into that stuff now actually. The picker, the reason it's this shape is because I'm not sure how well this will pick up on camera, but it picks up well enough that that has a flame top to it. It's not like real flame or I'm not sure it, if it's veneer or photo flame, but it's still pretty in the sense it makes a cheap guitar look expensive in a sense, or cheap bass look expensive anyway. So I wanted to show it off more to the extent that I made the picker as, as small as I would like to, but still have everything as one piece in a sense. Um, and it needed to be this large because in turn it was a P base so I had the two single staggered pickups. So to mitigate of like having to do weird things for routing or put pickups I didn't like in it, um, I just stuck a single jazz pickup in the neck and they're both Wilkinson pickups. I'll put the making the model up here. But yeah, I stuck it in at the angle that it best suited it and best lined up with the strings with the angle that was going at. It was a P bass and it was a traditional style P bass. It didn't have the bridge jazz pickup, so I had to give that to my luthier he put in. And he did a great job as usual putting it in. And yeah, he just did a great job. The hardware on this originally was gold. I'm not a fan of gold hardware because sometimes it oxidizes funny, but yeah. I put on chrome and I'm much happier with the results of the chrome hardware on it. And yeah, again, um, Wilkinson tuners, um, probably get a Wilkinson bridge maybe, I might change for something else. Um, the wiring on it, it's set up similar to a jazz space where you have your selector, which is a switch in this case, not a blend pop, um, volume and then your tone, and the output jack is on the side. So, oh, and the tone rest for the pure reason that I'm not very comfortable with holding it against the pickup like most jazz players will do or jazz bass players will do people that will use a jazz bass will do and um, so I prefer an actual big surface or bigger out from the body to use for bass like to put my tongue on so that's why I went with I'll actually explain the reason for the switch now while I'm at it so the reason for it is um, I'm very set in my ways like if I was using a blend pot, I'd be either going from the bridge to middle to neck. I'm not really a fan, personally, I'm not saying it's bad, they're a really handy option if you want to do some nice blending options, but for me personally, um, I'm not going to be using this as like my main instrument. My main instrument is guitar. Um, so I just thought if it's going to be in the case of I can get that sound over and over again from this bass, It'd be just easier going with a switch. So it's a Switchcraft three-way toggle switch with a chrome cap on it. Chrome cause I could. And so I'll go into the sound demos that I've already recorded and yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Um
Yeah, so I've been Ryan for Ryan's Guitar Stuff. This has been my base project. Um, I might put a bone or brass nut on it. I'm not sure yet. Um, so, yeah, that's been it. So, see us.